Welcome to a brand new episode of Motorheads. I have uh, someone very special with me today. It's uh, someone I'm also very keen to catch up with and uh, it's been a while since we've had him with us on the NDTV network too. It's uh, Rajesh Jejurikar who's an old hand at Mahindra and uh, of course is someone that uh, is very familiar to us as well as to you. Uh, good to see you Rajesh. Hi sir, nice to meet you. Thanks for uh, giving us the time today and, and being on the show with us. Uh, it's uh, a slightly different hat, let's say, that you wear now at Mahindra than uh, the, the previous times when we used to chase you for interviews. So, uh, it's been a while now that you've, you've come back to, to Mahindra and, and you've sort of settled into this role. Uh, talk us through that, talk us through that settling down period. So, I've been, um, you know, handling my current role now for a little over two years, though it seems much, much, much longer. And my current portfolio. To me, it seems shorter actually. Yeah. I can't realize it's been two years already. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, but for me, who's part of it every day, it's like 365 days into two, and so it's a long, many, many days of work. And I handle like, uh, you know, the tractors business and the two wheelers business. And both of these bring, you know, very different perspectives and new insights, need a very different approach. And uh, both have been immensely uh, different learnings. and have brought in very new dimensions to me um, as a business leader and uh, have been able to build on what I had experienced in my automotive days uh, and add a completely different perspective. So, you know, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing because learning so much new every day. And, and seemingly there aren't synergies between these two areas, right? So, I mean, from a business point of view, there could be, but obviously not from a product point of view. So, they are really two different animals in that sense. Yeah, so they need a different approach. Uh, clearly, two-wheelers is closer to automotive uh, than tractors is. Uh, both, having said that, um, there's some elements of both the uh, verticals which, uh, you know, have a commonality of, let's say, approach or process. Uh, the solutions are very different, but uh, a lot of, once you're in the automotive industry, a lot of the ground principles don't change. Uh, the way you capture insights from consumers, mm -hmm. the way you understand uh, distribution, the way you look at pricing, the decisions and approach uh, may, may vary, but uh, I think the process is the same. Given the strength of the Mahindra brand and also the position in the market, I guess it becomes that much easier to work with these suppliers yeah. in a certain sense. But the last few years in particular on farm equipment, we have seen uh, a greater focus on not just um, you know strengthening the Indian operations, but also looking outside of India. Uh, I know it's been a conscious effort and you had the US, then there was China, of course, which has been a big thrust area. And, and you've also looked at technology partnerships, etc. Recently, there was, of course, news coming from Japan as well. Um, how much of that has been, uh, let's say, uh, the, the new approach towards where this business is going ever since you've come in? Uh, as compared to what was happening earlier when, let's say, there was a greater impetus on making sure that you were consolidating market share locally? I think both the examples that you gave, both US and China, are things of the past. So, yeah. uh, while we would want to strengthen it and, uh, you know, increase the pace of our uh, momentum there, uh, they're not recent initiatives, you know, they're, they've been there for a while, we've invested for a while. And uh, both of these markets, we, we, you know, we have a good position and a good standing in US. In the less than 80 horsepower segment, we are actually the number three player, which is, you know, a good position to be in. Uh, we see, for example, the Mitsubishi Agri-Machinery uh, Strategic Alliance as a very significant way for us to strengthen the momentum that we would have in globalization. Uh, we see it as more than a technology tie-up. Uh, it will, uh, of course, help us get new technologies, but the things we can do together. Mm. It uh, gives us access uh, to Jap the J Japanese market, which we would have never done. Uh, Southeast Asian markets, uh, which, you know, we may not have looked at so strongly in the past. So there are many new things that, you know, we can do to globalize uh, using Mitsubishi Agri-Machinery. So, uh, you know, clearly that's a very important building block for us in our globalization journey. There's been a lot of talk about uh, how difficult it has been for Mahindra to sort of break into the, the, the big game when it comes to two-wheelers, even here in India. And never mind the fact that you also have global ambitions and you know you want to get to other markets. But um, while on the one hand, it's very easy to forget that all of this takes time, you know, it takes time to establish and, and build something like this. Um, you keep getting criticism saying, you know, you're so well established in on the, the utility vehicle side, why do you need to do this? 
have you figured out like a really good answer for that question now? <laughs> In these uh, two years? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I see a very strong strategic rationale for why Mahindra should hmm. uh, attempt and uh, get successful in the two-wheeler segment. So I'm going to give you two or three points out of my personal reasoning why. And I think we use that a lot now in all our internal communication and so on. Uh, so one is uh, penetration of brand. Right? So with we're a very successful tractor company. We reach about, let's say, 18, 20,000 households a month. I mean, that's roughly the range of what we would sell across our two brands, Mahindra and Swaraj. Even if we do badly in two-wheelers, we'll reach more households than that, <laughs> right? So the ability to penetrate the brand and literally become a mass brand player, uh, nothing will offer us as much uh, ease of doing that as being in two-wheelers. So one really is penetration of brand. Secondly, when you hence penetrate the brand to that extent, it creates households. Mm. who can become tractor households, who can become commercial vehicle households, who can become SUV households. So you create a connect with consumers which uh, can allow that consumer to move up the rest of your portfolio. Mm. So it's a great entry point into a household. Thirdly, the two-wheeler brand and consumer is typically younger. So you make your brand younger. right? And fourthly, uh, when you look at globalization, the ability to globalize in two-wheelers is far easier than in any other category. Two reasons for that. One is uh, brand India and two-wheelers has been fairly well established mm -hmm. thanks to some of our competitors. So the made in India is actually a pretty good tag to have in the two-wheeler segment. Uh, and the number of players or competitors there in the mass market are significantly lesser. Mm -hmm. right? So if you want to think about globalizing brand Mahindra. Again, two wheelers is a great way to do it. So there are four very compelling strategic reasons. Having said that, of course, it's competitive. Um, it's tremendous intensity of competition. And I think we right now have a strategy uh, which we think uh, will get us the momentum that we would like. And I don't know if you got a chance to see our new commercials, uh, but uh, you know, I could talk a little bit if you like about uh, the thought process and the strategy behind those. In fact, we're going to give our viewers a glimpse of that as well. And uh, of course, I want to know more about the strategy from you. We'll take a very short break here. And uh, what I haven't told you so far is where we've been sitting and having this conversation. We're uh, just outside of Pune at Mahindra Two Wheelers R&D facility. So uh, we're not going to just stay inside this room. Join us after a short break to find out what I'm going to show you next.